Today, we will answer a math challenge coming from one of our followers. The question goes like this. If 8 raised to x equals 25 raised to the power of y, and 8 over x plus 25 over y equals 1, then what is the numerical value of the 25th root of 8 raised to x plus 25 raised to the power of y? So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright. So to answer this kind of question, if we have this kind of given, 8 raised to the power of x equals to something, 25 raised to the power of y. So one technique is to equate this to another variable, and let's call this as t. So doing this, we have two different cases. So the first case is 8 raised to the power of x equals t, and the second case is 25 raised to the power of y equals t. So solving for x and y in these two equations, so let's have the first case. Now take the logarithm on both sides, and then what we're going to do is to put this x in the front, so we have x times logarithm of 8 equals logarithm of t. Then divide both sides by logarithm of 8. So x equals the logarithm of t over logarithm of 8. On the other hand, y in this equation is logarithm of t over logarithm of 25. Now, we will use these two result to answer this question. And of course, we use the first given. Now, here comes the second given comes into play. So we know x and y in terms of t. So x, we need to replace this with logarithm of, over logarithm of 8. And this y is logarithm of t over logarithm of 25. Now take the reciprocal of the denominator. Now, using some loss of logarithm, take note, when we have a times logarithm of b, we can rewrite this as logarithm of b raised to the power of a. So this 8 and 25, we can pull this out and put those numbers in the exponent of 8 and 25 respectively. And now, since these fractions are similar fractions, so we can combine them because they have the same base. Now multiply both sides by logarithm of t. And using some loss of logarithm again, take note, when we have logarithm of a plus logarithm of b, we can rewrite this as logarithm of a times b. So the left-hand side of our equation, we can rewrite this as logarithm of 8 raised to the power of 8 times 25 raised to the power of 25. And now, what we're going to do is to solve for the value of t. So t now is equivalent to 8 raised to 8 times 25 raised to the power of 25. And now, we will use this to answer this question. Now, we want to evaluate this expression, 25th root of 8 raised to x plus 25 raised to the power of y. And we know that those two expression is equivalent to t. So the expression inside our 25th root is just t plus t. And t plus t is just 2 times t. Now we know the value of t. t is just this. 8 raised to 8 times 25 raised to 25. Now simplify. This 8, we can rewrite this as 2 raised to the power of 3 for sure. And using some loss of exponent in this term, we can multiply this 3 and 8, so we have 2 raised to the power of 24. Now we know we have an exponent of 1. So when we multiply these two terms, we have 2 raised to the power of 25. We have the same exponent, so we can multiply their bases. So 2 times 5, 25 is 50. So we have 50 raised to the power of 25. And 25 root of 50 raised to 25 is simply equivalent to just 50. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, if 8 raised to x equals 25 raised to y and 8 over x plus 25 over y equals 1, then the numerical value of this expression, 25th root of 8 raised to x plus 25 raised to y, and our answer is just 50. And as always, we are done.